Hello and what's up everyone? Welcome back to another Computer Sluggish tutorial. So today we're actually going to take a look at Razer Cortex. Okay, so this is a game boosting program. So what it does is it basically frees up your memory, does a couple of tweaks to your Windows operating system and a couple of other bits that actually improves the smoothness of your game and also they reckon it can help the FPS of your game okay so yeah it's quite a cool program um, definitely worth having if you don't have a lot of memory on your computer so if you've got quite an old computer or well yeah just an old computer that lacks quite a few bits of hardware for the newer games then this is definitely a program that I'd recommend Okay, so as you can see here, it's got all the games on my computer. Okay, so every single game that I've got installed. Um, yeah, so basically what you do is click on the game that you want to launch. And then it'll run a couple of processes and free up some memory and disable a couple of services and so on. So your game runs smoother. Okay, so at the top here we've got deals. Okay, so this is their store here where they have a couple of deals on whatever. <laughs> anyway, okay, so yeah, let's go across to Gamecaster. Okay, so here, Gamecaster, this actually allows you to take some screenshots and do video recording. Okay, but obviously. To be honest, if you're using this program, you're using it because you've not got the hardware to record your in-game and stream to um, Twitch and YouTube. So, to be honest, I don't actually know why they've added this to the program, but it's still a cool feature anyway. So, as you can see, I've got no recordings, and there's the shortcuts. Okay, so... This is the part that we're interested in. Okay, so here we have the boost. So we can do a manual boost here. Or well, we've got automatic boost on. So as soon as I launch a game, it will automatically run the boost. Okay, so on the right here, as you can see, um, these are all the processes that are running on my computer at the second. Okay, so you can actually select what you would like to obviously have disabled when you launch a game. So, for instance, if I actually go onto my task, man <laughs> task manager there, right, and go on to more details, as you can see here, the memory that's being used on my computer. Okay, so here's all the processes. So, for instance, let's see, Bluestacks. So, Bluestacks agent. Um, it's using 13.2 meg and here I did just see it um, blue stacks okay so it reckons that it's using 33.5 meg okay so so someone is actually lying here unless there's another process running for blue stacks that I can't seem to see but anyway as we can see it is running and razors picked that up okay so that's always a good thing. Um, what else have we got in here? Um, okay, so we got the Nvidia tray. Okay, so that should be quite easy to spot. Um, so, so I say. <laughs> um, got Nvidia stuff there. Okay, I can't actually set. It. Okay, not to worry. What else have they got in there? Anyway, yeah, so a couple of processes there. So let's just say, for instance, okay, so there you are, Task Manager. So we've opened that up now, and it reckons that's using 32 meg of our memory, our RAM. So we got that selected to disable, and... Oh, oh God, sorry about that, everyone. <laughs> anyway, right, so, yeah, so... We can have that disabled, and then yeah, so we don't need blue stack, so that'll free us up another 33 meg of memory. Um, don't need um, like install agent, um, location, just 
pretty much so like here I've got OBS so this is my recording software which you can see down here OBS Studio so you'd have that disabled because that's actually using 6% CPU which that 6% could actually be going towards the game okay so and then also we have our services so here as you can see it's got automatically it's checked quite a few things that it recommends okay and then we got non window services and others okay so in others here so we got launch game on game desktop so provide maximum processing power for gameplay without interruptions okay and we got clean ram so optimize memory usage to increase the available physical memory okay so that's a good feature that that's a brilliant feature i remember I'm um, using those features when my computer wants a great okay so boost in the RAM anyway so yeah it just it what it does is it releases everything cleans it all and then yeah it allows you to have a lot more memory and yeah anyway so yeah it's good feature that um yeah so we got clear clipboard and turn off automatic updates so fence interruptions during our games so obviously we don't want any of that so basically obviously there's videos all over YouTube and these are the sort of things people would show you how to do but at least Razer Cortex it's all in one it does it for you so no messing around with Windows okay and it re-enables it all again once you're out your game so it's great so we've got diagnose here um, okay so I'm gonna go on to analyze quickly okay so here as you can see once it's done it's gone through my computer oh okay I think the program just crashed uh, it's not great okay so it's just scanning my games quick see if I've got any new games installed there right so let's go back to boost so you've got diagnose there and that just basically builds up a report on your computer as if it don't crash <laughs> anyway so we got tweak okay so here's got a couple of tweaks okay so fix bad tweak um speed up menu display and so on okay so three tweaks there um we could click optimize there if we want to apply them so if i just press that okay so restart your system for them to be affected Oh, okay, so anyway, right, so we've got defrag, okay, so this allows you to defrag your game, okay, so, yeah, it's a pretty cool feature, um, basically, you'll see defrag, when you defrag an area on your computer or whatever, it rearranges all the files and so on to allow the hard drive to detect the file and read it faster or whatever. Okay, so I don't want to go into too much detail on that, but either way, it's a cool feature, and if it actually does what it's supposed to do, that will certainly help your games, I believe, anyway. Okay, so yeah, that's cool. And up here we got VR Beta. Okay, so I'm guessing that's the new, like, virtual reality um, stuff, so yeah. Okay, so anyway, yeah, so overall, um, definitely give Razer Cortex a try, and to be honest, I think it depends on your computer. It, it's down to your computer, your hardware, if it does actually make a difference, okay? But comment below if you find the program very helpful and you think it's really helped you out. Then, yeah, comment below, let everyone else know. Okay, so, yeah, I hope this little video helped. Um, hit that like button if you enjoyed it and it did help. And subscribe for more videos.